Welcome back to Ina Football. Like I've said in some of my other videos, we are getting into the spring season, which that means all new football gear, all new cleats. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my first impression on one of the new Nike cleats that has hit the market. We're gonna be taking a look at the newly redesigned Nike Vapor Pro 360 football cleat. Now out of the box, I have to say, I don't know if this is my most favorite design of a football cleat. It, it doesn't really inspire uh, kind of the future that some of their past Vapor cleats have. There's definitely visually some more uh, cleats that I like better in the Vapor line than, than what I'm looking at here. But there are a lot of good things in this cleat that they've made improvements upon versus the previous years of Vapor cleats. We can really talk about, okay, how did they improve this cleat upon the previous version? Now the first thing you're gonna notice is two pull tabs. You've got one on the rear, which they had before. The stitching is actually greatly improved. So you can see they actually use a stitch that's really secure. So in previous years, a lot of these came out uh, very frequently. They weren't that durable. They've improved that on this cleat. The other thing on this cleat is they've added a front pull tab. So this is going to make this collar a lot more accessible uh, for you to slip your foot in. Now what I think I noticed, and I won't know until I actually do the performance review on this test, I think the collar is a lot thicker, which is a good thing because the collar on the previous cleats didn't provide any security for me. Uh, you almost couldn't even feel it and you really want to feel kind of that locking uh, tightness around your ankle a little bit more um, than the previous year. So I like that this is thicker, so time will tell how this holds up. So that's three improvements that we've seen so far. Now, in addition to that, they've also added this eyelet and they've done this on the entire vapor line across all the cleats. So that's gonna give it a much greater lock and feel. That has been my number one complaint on the vapor cleats is couldn't get the lock in. And so actually the best cleats uh, were the speed uh, version of the cleats. Those also were the cheapest. And I was going half a size down just to make sure that I had that heel lock that I wanted in a cleat. Another upgrade they've added is a traditional lacing system. Yes, the Ghost lacing system looked really cool, but you didn't get the lockdown, you couldn't tighten the individual eyelets, and you couldn't really get that custom fit across where you wanted to feel that pressure on the eyelets. So now you've got more eyelets along here, so that's really gonna help lock in the foot to the footbed. It's also gonna allow you to customize that fit. Now you see they've added some stitching um, here. Now this stitching is very similar to what they had because they had the shroud over the laces, so I suspect that that stitching stays. Um, but you do have uh, a little bit more um, durability just because that additional stitching that attaches the internal booty to the exterior exoskeleton of this cleat. Now one thing I am fearful of is how this cleat is going to breathe. I don't see any ventilation on this cleat, like you have this tiny ventilation here and here, but this upper looks so thick. It's a thick textile with no uh, perforation at all I'm scared how this is gonna breathe and how uh, hot my feet are going to get. Now, just like on the other vapor cleats, they have added some durability to the underside uh, of the arch. Uh, you can see here they have the overlay of the stitching. Previous models didn't have that. Now, I never experienced uh, anything happening with the stitching. They never pulled apart on me. But I'd be curious for you, who you guys who have played in the vapor cleats, did you have this tearing apart? Because they definitely added an overlay that was not there on previous cleats and that is definitely gonna to add to some of the, the durability. In comparison to uh, the last year's cleats, now they feel a little bit heavier, uh, but not by much, not like the elites uh, compared to the previous elites. So if you haven't seen my other first impression videos for the new Nike cleats, definitely go check those out in the playlist on my channel. But other than that, I think that's gonna do it for uh, this cleat. The heel counter is the same, nice and thick, really give you some of that heel stability or foot stability and, and heel lock. And they've got the best uh, traction plate uh, of any brand in football, the Vapor 360 plate that remains consistent over this year. So that's my first impression of this cleat. If you like this video, if you have a check out my other videos, consider subscribing, give me a like to support the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.